What's up guys? What's up guys? And girls. And girls. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start that one over? No. Alright, who cares? <laughs> anyway, um, so Fantix sent us another cool product. It's an automatic air compressor, I guess. That's like a cordless air compressor. No, that can't be the right word. Yeah, it's like a cordless... Air pump? It puts air in your tires. Yeah, basically. but it's cordless, and it's crazy because normally to do that you need like a big air compressor plugged into the wall. It's just in this little bag, and the, my tire pressure is always low. Yeah, for so. some reason in our wow. Tesla, on the right side, we get like low tire pressure by. They're really really sensitive. Yeah. If it like drops just a little bit, the air pressure lights goes off. So which mm -hmm. for me happens like once a month. So this would be nice to have in my car. Yeah, so it's basically, uh, it's off by maybe like two or three PSI, but the warning light comes on, so we're gonna fix it. So uh, here we go, we're gonna give it a try. All right, so it comes with some accessories, like to blow up sports balls, um, floaty devices, and car and bicycle tires. And so it's kind of interesting. I think there's like a little preset thing that I do. Screw this on. And then, I think I screw this on. Okay, that's cool. So it's like a it screws on like nice and tight which is nice. So it shows there's 36 PSI on there. And we actually want it to go to, so you can preset it right here. We want it to go to like 45 PSI. Well, let's do, let's do 42 PSI. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> So I think it should stop at 42. So it thought it should have gone to 43 apparently. So I think it just it fills it all the way up like oh, the to, full, to yeah. the full 42. That's actually really cool, very convenient. <laughs> and as you can see there's no... Uh, Even I could do it. Yeah, there's no cords hooked to this or anything. And on the bottom you have a USB charger and a USB-C charger. So you can charge pretty much anything on this bad boy. Let's check the back tire. Well, maybe I should try it. You want to give it a go? I mean, since, like, if I ever need yeah. it, right, then I can see if I could do it. All right. So, what you want to do? Ken already took the lid off for me. Oops, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. And then as it goes on, you'll see the, pre the pressure. So that one's at 36. Oof. All right. So. Now I press. So you can, like, if you toggle that up or down, you can see that you change this number. Oh, I have to change the top one? No, the, so, oh, okay. so see the bottom? How That's it's what it's 42. going to be. So if you wanted it to go oh, to like higher. 41 or whatever. But it's already set, so now just hit that. Power? Yep. Alright. That's it. That's pretty awesome. 
You know it's easy if I can do it because I've never done anything on my car. <laughs> yeah. So I have to have Kenny do it. This thing's actually awesome. And the one thing that I will say that I like about this is the fact that it stops once it's, it's done at the appropriate uh, PSI that you set it to. Because I've always had a crazy fear since I was little that I'm gonna overfill a tire and the tire's gonna explode <laughs> and take my face off or something like that. It, it is dramatic, but I've watched like some crap YouTube videos when I was when I was younger and I saw something like that happen. And I've always been scared of it, you know? Like so whenever I'm at a gas station putting air in the tire, I'm like, you know, super cautious. But this just completely stops once it's at the set PSI that you set it to. Let's see what this one's at. So all the tires are actually pretty low. We're setting them all at 42, but they're all around like the 38, 38 PSI yeah. range. So this one is at 38 as well. Actually, so in the pamphlet, it actually says something about how you can fill up a certain amount of car tires, certain amount of oh, bike tires, charge. certain amount of basketballs on one full charge. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's see. 40. 40. This one's the best one. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right, nice. then. So basically, all four tires when we went down one bar in charge. Yep. Nice, huh? Even Thanks. a girl could do it. Yep. You want to leave it in my car? And it's just got the little bag right here. You put it in the front. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is without a doubt a lifesaver. Especially if you're, you know, in traffic or, you know, you get a flat tire and long you need trips. to find, yeah, long trips, you need to find a gas station. And, or you don't have quarters to fill up oh, your, that's uh, usually the problem. yeah, that is the problem. We pulled up to so many gas stations and realized we didn't have quarters. But this thing, I mean, it's honestly tiny. I'm gonna keep it in my trunk. Yeah. This thing's so cool. Well, Fantic. You've done it again. You've done it again. You sent us a couple different products. Every single one of them are amazing. Um, this one. A stupid question, how do you turn it off? Just uh, hold this for three seconds. Oh, see? And there it goes. All right. But Can yeah, um, I mean, this one, the car charger that you guys sent us. This one's um, my favorite. Yeah, that one's cool. And thank you so much, Fantic, for all the stuff you're sending us. Now I'm gonna organize my whole trunk just so that I can make my Fantic look nice inside here. That's right. Well, well, while you're doing that, you might as well do the spiel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, comment below. Anything else you'd like to see us do? Until next time, I'm gonna organize for my Fantic. See ya.